Okay, this is a uh, beginner's notching video. Uh, I originally notched this one here and uh, I noticed that I was not in the frame. I was out of the frame notching most of this so I'll just show it to you. It's about a uh, quarter inch thick, about an inch wide, a little bit less than an inch wide. And these are the notches that I, I put in there uh, which are sufficient for this thickness and this size of arrowhead. I'm going to go ahead and notch this one in this video. Um, the things to remember are make sure you start with something less than a quarter inch thick. Um, as a beginner, uh, notching is particularly difficult because most beginners produce thick points. Now, notching on a thick point is difficult not only for beginners but for everybody. So it's no wonder that beginners have trouble with notching. Uh, number two, you have to watch that you don't have steps in the line where you want to notch. Now there's some steps in here but I'll be notching a little lower than that. If you have a bumpy steppy area that you want to notch into or if it's really thick in that spot and you're thinking well I can probably get rid of that as I'm notching it's not a good idea. You probably won't be able to get rid of that. Um, Next is the uh, pressure flaker. Uh, it's best to use a pressure flaker when notching. Uh, you can use a punch as well, of course, but it requires a little more skill. Um, this is a steel ice pick. It's just been ground down on both sides. And keep in mind that the length of your skinny part on your pressure flaker has to be at least as deep as the notches that you want to make. Uh, you don't want to hit the side of the notch with this thicker part of your pressure flaker because it'll knock off an ear or a barb. Um, let's see, one more thing is the uh, the way you're holding your your point while you're notching. Now a lot of guys use big pads, uh, that's fine. I prefer a small pad because for me it's there's less a, there's less to think about and uh, not, there's nothing touching the ends when I'm pushing so it's, I'm not going to snap it in half um, it's uh, easier for me to hold because it's just a little thin piece here a thick pad is, is a little bit bulky for me um, and uh, you should also try to work with high quality flint when you're notching now you don't have to notch your points you can save yourself the misery and just leave it like this and use epoxy to, to haft it. Uh, the hafting area is about one third the way up the notch. You can just cut a notch in the end of the arrow shaft and epoxy it in there and that should be just fine. But if you do want a notch, uh, make sure you're less than a quarter inch thick. No steps or big bumps in, in the line that you want to notch in line with uh, your notch path. Uh, High quality chert. This is raw Georgetown, and your pad has to be uh, your pad has to be friendly for notching. <laughs> if you're suspending it, or if you got it bridged and you're pushing in like this, you're going to snap it. That's two main things with beginners. They snap the points right where they're notching, and they also break off the ears and barbs. So to avoid snapping in half make sure that you're not bridging it and what I mean by that is make sure you don't have pressure on either side of that notch make sure your pressure is going to be right where you're notching not on either side because that'll create a bridge that could cause a crack to go right down the middle and um, I'll just start by showing you how to prepare uh, the notch should be one third of the way up somewhere and these are going to be perpendicular to the uh, blade edge. The notches are going to be perpendicular but you can make them go up, straight in, go down, you can notch from the base. Um, there's all sorts of variations. You can put in a, bit, a big half circle on each side if you want to. They don't have to be skinny notches like, like this. It's up to you. Uh, in most states you can't have barbs on your arrowhead so if you notch from the ends here I mean from the corners you'll end up with a barb so you might not be able to use that for hunting. 
so let me just uh, start here and um, make it fairly wide as a beginner try not to go too narrow because it's notching is difficult for everybody and if you're going really narrow you're just gonna make it harder on yourself make it a good size about an eighth of an inch wide maybe a little less and make sure it's square I'll show you that in a minute but when you first press off this, these flakes and when you're first starting be gentle don't push too hard in the very beginning you'll snap everything around the outside okay so at this point I just gonna push in the middle not very hard just to get that started and square off the bottom hope you can see that and it's not out of focus literally square off the bottom turn it over now you've got a platform a beveled edge that's just right for uh, the pressure flaker to press against and go right in the middle press not too hard and then dress up the corners make sure they're squared off I mean literally square you want it the bottom of the notch to be straight that's the easiest way to do it turn it over press in the middle now at this point you can press a little bit harder because you're past the edge a little ways and it'll drive flakes and make it skinny for you or thinner for you at this stage now square off the bottom and I'm using this whole edge I'm just kind of crunching inward push inward and downward once or twice square off the bottom Turn it over, Some fingernail hinges, don't worry about that, push in the middle, square off the bottom, turn it over, push in the middle, once or twice, square off the bottom. Now this one is slightly expanding. I hope I'm staying in the frame here and staying in focus. It's okay if it slightly expands, it's actually easier to work with. The secret is, the more area you have at the bottom of your notch to work with, the more successful you'll be at driving it inward. Okay, push in the middle. square off the bottom okay that's far enough on that side for now we can probably drive it a little bit further gently prepare the opening watch to see that you're symmetrical on both sides you're just turning the edge so that when you turn it over you'll have a good angled platform to push against and you push right in the middle of that area you just prepared it's going to be like this is a little bit rounded so I use the bottom edge of that roundness and I kind of catch the edge a little bit I bite the into the edge just a little bit into the edge of the stone so it's not on top like this it's actually right on the corner catch the edge a little bit push in gently not too hard you don't want to blow away the rest of this edge and square the bottom no need to overdo it at this stage I'm just checking my symmetry flip it over 
Squish right in the middle, get a little bit of a bite. Squish once or twice. Make sure that egg gets turned upward. Make sure it starts to come up again. If you push off a flake and you barely turn that edge, it's going to be hard when you turn it over to, to, be, to uh, continue. Square off the bottom. Make it literally square. Now you can start pushing a little bit harder to drive the flakes a little further. Once or twice, square off the bottom. Don't need to speed up this process, you can go as slow as you like. Push. see if that edge is actually turning and going upward so when you turn it over you'll have something good to press against something low below center line push hard and when you push to dress up the, the bottom of that notch make sure you don't push too hard because you can push here on the very corner in there and snap this whole ear off if you're not careful. Make sure you're not touching anything on either side. Make sure the pressure flaker does not touch the side of the notches. And just take your time. Push hard in the middle. Dress up the bottom. These, these other legs you don't have to push as hard to get those off. Really square now they're both about equal now now you can stop at this point this is fine I'm gonna drive a little bit further just to show you how to do it um, all it takes is a little more pressure in the middle it's starting to get thicker so you need a little more pressure but when you dress up the bottom remember you don't have to use so much pressure to dress up that bottom just to the most pressure is on the very first flake that you take off before you dress up the bottom of that notch. Make sure you're not bridging it. Push hard. It's not a single popped out flake like with a punch. You should get a bunch of little flakes. Dress up the bottom. Turn it over. Press hard, press it up. We'll stop there on that side. This one's already been dressed, so we'll just press in the middle. Hopefully it's in focus. I'm just checking to make sure there's a, you know, a nice edge on that. That it's not getting, you know, bulbous or crooked or whatever. Push hard in the middle. You see how it looks on the other side. Dress it up. Oops. I hope I stayed in the frame on every one of these. I'll do one more. Hard, press it up. Okay, the closer these get together, the, the greater the risk of snapping it right in between the notches. You could end up snapping it right in between. So, this is good enough. Good enough. If you want, you can uh, dress up the, the edges now, the serrations or whatever. But uh, that's about it. For beginners, just remember to take it easy in the very beginning when you're first starting that notch so you don't blow away the surrounding area. Take your time, make sure that you, you uh, dress up the bottom of that notch, make it square, and you'll be on your way. That's it.